Hey guys, Mike here. In this video, I'm going to teach you the proper way to punish a monster that's been toppled. So have you ever toppled a monster and you proceeded to do your biggest damage combo, but you ended up whiffing every single attack? Well, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to not do that anymore. All right, let's take Kushala Daura because uh, I know this monster is famous for making people whiff attacks. So what most people do when the monster topples to the ground is they try to start attacking immediately on the weak point. That's not good because usually you will pick a terrible spot to attack the weak point from and you end up missing all your attacks. So how should you do this? Well, there's, there's a few criteria you want to meet. First is you want to pick a spot that's not going to cause you to move. So if I stand here, well, Gushala's head moves like this from four to back like this. So if I stand here, he's just gonna push me back here. And if I have a short weapon like dual blades or sword and shield, and even great sword, because great sword, you have to land this, the first tiny hit of the TCS in order to make it empowered. Otherwise you're losing on so much damage. So it even applies to great sword as well. But you can see like if I stand here and I move and I get pushed back here, then I just kind of end up whiffing all my attacks. And that's not good. So after you identify where the monster can potentially push you back, you just don't stand there. So I'm not going to stand here because his head's just going to push me back, and I'm not really going to stand here either because his head also kind of goes this way as well, and it'll still push me back. Now, that means you stand in a spot where he's not going to push you back. So you can see this hunter right here is in the right spot, right here. I won't get pushed back by Kushala and is able to land all the hits. Yeah, and this is this is a longsword player, so you know you can see they're a little farther back, and that's not a big deal, they can still hit the head. So if I was dual blades or sword and shield, I would probably stand a little closer over here, or even hammer. Hammer should probably stand here as well. Another alternative spot you can stand that sort of works in my opinion is over here, because sort of in this little cranny here, you won't get pushed around, at least not as much as over here and over here. And this leads into my next point, into, well, which spot is better, this one or this one? And the second criteria you want to identify is weak points and parts that are not weak points. So obviously the head is the weak point on Kushal Daura, and we want to make sure all our hits land on the head. Well, if I stand here and all my attacks are coming out from side to side, potentially my hits could hit the feet here, it could hit the body here, or it could even hit the neck here. And these are not weak points and you're just going to be doing less damage. So that's why I wouldn't really stand here. It's sort of like a last resort if for some reason I can't stand here. And one situation that may arise is like say Kushala's head falls into a wall and you literally cannot stand here because there's literally a wall here. So, and you literally cannot stand here. So just follow these rules when punishing a monster. Hope that helped. Thanks for watching.